Well, again, this is what I love about, you know, the passive house uh, movement because they have a retrofit um, kind of methodology to how do you fix old buildings. Oh, I didn't know that. And so what's nice about it is, is we have this device called the Red Door of Truth. It's a blower door test. And so we put this, you know, machine in and we, you know, we figure out how building, how leaky our buildings are. And ideally, you know, we're never going to get to 100%, even though a few of our builders have tried to get the record for the lowest uh, airtight building, which is great. But, you know, once you get below 1 or 0.6, you know, it's good enough. Mm -hmm. You know, you've achieved the standard um, to get records is a bit of egotistical, you know, nonsense that I definitely wanted to get to. But I enjoy the pursuit of of improving it and at least, you know, figuring out where the, the issues are. And so on a new build, you know, airtightness is key. On a retrofit, because of the cost, typically, you know, Windows is where you start with because those are easy to improve. Uh, and so the fact that you can, you know, t um, model and even on a new build, you know, we always start, we always have this uh, methodology is, you know, you model your pathway to get there. We can do the same on a retrofit. So you do a blower test to see how leaky it is and identify where the leaks are. And then you're like going after the elephants. You're trying to take care of the biggest uh, issues and then working towards the, you know, the small, small items. Um, and you can do it all in once, or you could do a retrofit over five or 10 years and just slowly pick away at it as you try to improve the building. We'll